Welcome back to the channel, guys. You read the title. We're putting tow hooks on today. Now, I've, I've never done this before, and well, quite frankly, this is a rear tow hook, and I'm putting it on the front because my, my car doesn't have the specific loop that this is supposed to bolt onto. But um, I'll worry about that later. First step, we got to get the car into the garage. Why in the garage and not just right there, you ask? Well, it, you'll see. Now, the thing about uh, project cars is, hey, buddy, what's up? Viewers, meet Scruffy. Scruffy, viewers. He's gonna be my extra set of hands today. So as I was saying, the thing about project cars is like, the longer you have them, the more problems seem to arise. And the most recent problem is, is well, my car leaks. So what I think happened was basically, I think during the winter, the, the rubber seals got kind of messed up or something. So now water leaks through them. So every time it rains, there's some leftover rainwater in my car waiting to greet me, which is always a lovely sight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is vacuum all that out and then we're gonna get this into the garage and get started on our project for today. Okay, bud? Now that the car's in the air, we gotta get the front bumper off. Yo, check out how slammed my car is now. Just kidding. Sorry, that was kind of dumb, but. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it like right there and just bolt it in right there. That way it'll be sticking out about, it's gonna be about right there, which I think looks pretty good. And it's, you know, easy to access. The only thing that I can see being a problem with the placement is if I ever get a front mount intercooler, I'll have to move this. But I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. So I think this will look just fine. Now we just gotta move the radiator and stuff. This project just got a whole lot more complicated. And now a message from today's sponsor. Dude, we don't have a sponsor. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess we're draining coolant now. That's so much easier than an actual drain. What the? Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. That's so much easier. You can take that cap off and it'll drain faster, but I kind of like how neat and not messy this is. It'll take longer, but that's so convenient. And while I'm looking down here, that that is not pretty. And what in the world? Is that a branch? Maybe it is time to get a new exhaust. Yes, I've changed the coolant on this before. It's just, I had someone else do it last time because they were you're, they were doing other stuff to it already, so might as well get it done, right? But this is the first time I've done it, but not the first time, not the first time it's been done since I bought the car. Let, let the record show. And it's officially raining again. And that is disgusting. At least the inside is relatively clean though. You know, I think I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to replace the coolant hoses because I have a full kit for like, all the hoses, even those little teeny small ones right there. I just haven't done it yet. So I think I think this will be a good opportunity to put those in. That is quite possibly the grossest thing I've ever seen on this car yet. That is just disgusting. Put in the comments the grossest things you've seen on your cars. You've probably seen worse than me, but that's just, ugh. All right, coolant hoses are off and all the coolant is drained, obviously. So now I just got to take the radiator out and I, I think, I think we just got to unscrew these bolts on either side and it might just come out after I unplug the fans, of course, but 
I don't know, I'm not really sure if it just hangs down or if there's more bolts hidden in there, but uh, I, don't, I don't know, that's, that's kind of why you do things, to figure them out, right? You won't know unless you try. So it's so close to coming out, like it, like, well, it, it wants to come out, but it's being blocked by the coolant reservoir. Not cool, bro, not cool. Boom, there we go. I'm gonna let it drain out a bit because it's still kind of dropping coolant. Um, but then I'm gonna see how our little tow hook situation is doing. Curses. There's still wires under here. The entire nation is that. I'm telling you, my car gets stranger and stranger every day. So it turns out that uh, there's another piece of metal right behind those wires. I don't know if you can see, but there's a there's another layer of metal in there. I don't know if you can see that. Which means I need to find a new spot for my tow hook because that's just that's not gonna work. That is, I mean, unless unless I cut like a hole to get my fingers in there so I can install it. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. I might just have to not put a tow hook on today. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It finally stopped raining. So I've been thinking about this for about an hour and a half now, and I just, I'm not gonna let this go. I wanna put a tow hook on my car because you don't see them very often. And well, let's be frank, my car breaks a lot. And there are a couple times where I could have used it. So I think, I think I may have found a way to make it work. Keyword, think. I don't know. I think. We'll see. So I've already marked where I want the bolts to go. So basically the theory is I'm going to stick this about right there, you know. So it's still going to be in the spot that I want it to be. However, instead of just sticking the bolts through and then tightening them on with the nuts i'm just gonna see if i can thread the bolts right into the metal here so i'm gonna make some holes that are just slightly too small and see if i can just thread these through and if that will hold this enough if not well i have no idea what to do if i really want to put the tow hook on i'll have to i'll have to cut something out on the other side so i can actually like reach in there and, and bolt it down but that's about all I've got. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to abandon the project, but I think, I think it'll work. I think, I think. So those holes are a little too small there. So we're going one side's up. Still too small. <laughs> yes, it totally works. I mean, it, I kind of just filed it until I could force them in there, but it's on there. It is, it is on there tight and solid. You know, to be honest, I should probably weld it if I really want it to stay, but I don't have a welder and I don't know how to weld. So this is gonna do for now. I'll check it every now and then to make sure it's still tightened down, but yes, it works. My stupidity actually pulled through this time. Okay, now we just gotta put the front bumper on and well, See what it looks like? Call it a day. Oh my gosh, look at that. Here, let me let me close the hood. Yes. Yes. It looks so good. Like it's it's subtle. Like I like how it's there for function, but it's not like screaming for attention, you know? I feel like too many cars have um, you know, racing tow hooks on there just for looks. And while yes, I did put this on here because it looks cool. 
There have been multiple times where my car has broken down and it would have been really nice to have one. So now I've got one and I'm just one step closer to being able to take this thing on the racetrack, which I intend on doing it because it's cool and well, this thing needs to stretch its legs a little bit more than just back rows, you know? Look at this, oh my gosh, it looks so good, yes. This, oh my gosh, it's so nice. I'm so glad this turned out so well. I, for a second there, I wasn't even sure we were gonna be able to do this because it did not look, the situation did not look good. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do this. Like I said, many a time before, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing this because I wanna learn how to do it and you gotta do stuff to learn how to do it, right? But uh, man, that looks good, ooh, yes. Anyways, that's gonna end today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as well if you wanna see more random content of me doing random garbage to my cars that I have no idea what I'm doing. But um, yeah, this video is pretty much over. Mazda, you're next.